Hey everyone, in this video, we'll show you how to create a stunning Gantt chart in Microsoft Excel so that you could track your progress and stay ahead of deadlines. Let's dive in. Here you can see we are supposed to complete our tasks from task 1 up to task 6. These are the start date of the tasks and these are the end dates. Let's calculate the duration for each task. We can simply subtract the start date from the end date and we would easily calculate the duration of each task. So I would write is equal end date minus start date and let's add plus one to it so that the start day may also be counted in it. Now press enter and there we have our duration. Let's extend it to other tasks as well. And these are the days required to complete these tasks. Next, we are going to change the date format given over here. So simply select the dates like this, right click, go to format cells option, go to custom. And here you need to enter this short code that is DD and up above you can see it's showing how this date would look like hyphen MMM. -M. Now simply press OK and there you go. Now this is how our date would look like on Gantt chart. Next we are going to select the task and the start date. Go to insert tab in charts group simply select this column or bar chart 2D bar chart and this staked bar chart. Click and there we have our chart like this. Now if you look carefully over here you can see our tasks start from task 1 up to task 6 but here you can see it is in reverse order. It is task 6 and down at the bottom we have task 1. Let's right click over here go to format axis and here you can see categories in reverse order. Simply check it and there you have your vertical axis with correct order. Next click on your chart go to chart design and here you have this option select data. In the select source data go over here and click on add. Here we need to enter the series name and the series name that we are interested in is a duration. Now in the series value delete whatever value you see over there and now select these days durations. Now simply click on OK again OK and there we have our chart almost ready. Next click on these bars go to format option shape fill and choose no fill. Similarly go to shape outline and no outline. Click outside and there you see the initial look of our game chart which needs to be refined a bit further. If you look on the horizontal axis you can see it is starting from 26 September and goes up to 3 June. But in the table you can see our start date is 1st January and the final date of our project is 30 April. Let's make adjustment to horizontal axis to include the start and end date is given in our table. Right click go to format axis and here in axis option let's give minimum and maximum value. I'm going to delete the already given value and I will insert 1st January over here you can see it's 1st January and the year was 2021. So I would write 01 hyphen January hyphen 21. Next go to maximum and here we will insert this is the end date 30th April. So I would write 30 hyphen April hyphen 21. Press enter. Now you can see our horizontal axis start from 1st January and goes up to April over here. Just beneath minimum and maximum value you can see we have these units that is starting and the end point of a particular tasks. So I would like to define it in weeks. I'm gonna insert my major unit is 7 and I'm gonna give the minor is one press enter and if you look closely you can see our first tasks require just a week and similarly over here you can see it requires more than three weeks but the horizontal axis with the dates got jumbled up let's fix it simply click over it and over here in alignment simply choose this angle counterclockwise option and there you go now if you are going to change any of the date the Gantt chart would make necessary adjustment let me show you I'm gonna change this date from A to 20 press enter and there you can see the tasks one extends to more than two weeks similarly 
over here i'm going to make a change instead of 16 i'm going to insert 10 press enter and there you go whatever change you are going to make over here would be reflected in the chart finally you can click on these bars right click go to data labels and you can add data labels like this and go to home tape change the font color to whatever color you want i'm going to change it to white and this looks good and there is your gantt chart ready now so that was all about gantt chart i hope you have found this tutorial useful please give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching